Welcome Libra. Thank you for tuning in to your August reading. I hope you are doing well. Um, so we are already a couple days into this, you know, August energy. And I'm sensing, because I was tuning in for you guys, and I'm, I'm sensing that there might have been a event that took place and this could already you know been a couple weeks ago but i'm sensing like something is just sort of on repeat like something is just going on and then you know it comes back and you think about it all over again you relive the situation maybe you question yourself how could have i respond differently how could it have gone differently and it's just something that i'm sensing in your head space that's just sort of taken um, taking up room, taking up space, but I feel that it's more connected to something that might have been triggered. Maybe, you know, there was a trigger and so the a certain conversation or blow up happened, but it was based on something that was a long term build up. I'm feeling like a longer term build up. And that's why kind of sort of going on repeat because there are multiple incidents that are connected to that. Uh, incident basically is what I'm feeling so if that is something that comes up this month um, that could be but I'm sensing it already has taken place and you guys are moving through this energy and out and away and out of the loop and sort of you know cleansing that energy whether that's with a person whether it's with a part of you a past part of you something you would like to heal and leave behind or something you just like to just get out of or clear like it's about clearing out that energy and um yeah just making space for the new so that's something i i do feel um i'm sensing that it comes also like that healing and that letting go comes through your own inner child so for example being creative um doing something archy or you know do a do itself project or something like that something is just for you that you do because you feel you know creatively inspired or in whatever way shape or form this could also come with uh you going outside and picking a couple of flowers that you kind of want to dry out beautifully and put them in the list or something to beautify um your surrounding with because that's also um highly connected um, but things like that actually will help you move forward. Um, just being spontaneous, just sort of saying yes here and there to things that are spontaneous, that just come on your pathway, just enter your day like that. Um, just things like that will definitely be helpful for you guys. And I'm sensing that a conversation as well will be taking place. But first you just need to... I'm hearing I first need to clear my mind and think about this and then I know what I want and what I don't want because right now I'm just I just don't see it clearly I don't know what I want I don't know what the best thing to do is so that's what I'm feeling but, but that clarity will come to you because this month is all about first you have experience and external then you go within you enter sort of a space of, you know like I said like a very a spontaneous side sort of your inner child side and then those deeper insights come and those answers lay there so this month is definitely a month like i said you're going in deep and you're clearing out some of that energy wow <laughs> libra i say you're seeing clear clearing out the energy and then you get the card seen clearly wow you see you might feel a little bit like you're standing on top of you know upside down basically let's see it's time to view things from a different perspective libra you have to you have the blessed gift to see the past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities don't worry the pause and momentum while you rethink your plan will not last embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you some of you might be a little bit in your mind like why am i not more like this why am i not like that why don't i feel that way why can i be like that you know going and 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 connecting to outside sources where it's people where there's online presence you know things like that it's like why can i you know be more confident that way why can i speak my mind like that it's like things like that com compare yourself but it's like your uniqueness is where it's at that's where your magic so when you start focusing on the things you do possess naturally you know um you might find out and figure out some reasons why and you might start seeing more clearly again because yeah that's the thing clarity is definitely needed in a situation all right let's pick up the tarot 
darling. <laughs> it's got some tarot. Ooh, look at that. Two of Wands, definitely. That's definitely having uh, taken that time and understanding that, yes, you are about to move forward. You're about to enter um, a next phase. And yes, new things are coming your way. But first, take some time to really take in all the options and all the opportunities and the ways to go. But King of Pentacles here as well. It's like, listen, you are definitely on the right pathway. You're definitely on the right pathway. So you might actually in the near future receive a message from someone who either already is established in something you're trying to establish yourself in. Um, but it's just overall someone who is not... Who already came out of a phase that you might feel you never get out of and so it's like an inspiring thing it's almost like yes i used to be like that i used to feel that way and then you're kind of like shocked about it like you're kind of like wow you know i didn't think that you would person who would like be insecure or something you know but then they were like really really insecure and then it's like, you know, I did this and I did that and I worked through and now I'm here. So you look at me from this space, but I, I wasn't born here. I had to like work my way up. So it's something like communication that might surprise you. Look at that. You have the eight of wands and the queen of swords. So true level of incoming and outgoing a communication or energy or realizations and having that clarity puts you in a much more comfortable seat as the queen of pentacles sorry the queen of swords because it's like uh, i'm back <laughs> so i'm here Whew, i'm back because i'm seeing like someone tried to sort of manipulate you into a situation maybe where you were starting to sort of doubt your own self or your sense of just sense of self i'm seeing like someone's like personally trying to make you look like the bad guy make you look like an erotic like you know like getting you outside your calm and peace and it's like oh why are so over the top it's like no you're you're literally pushing me here like i do have my lines and do you forget that i am the queen of swords and yes i'm sitting pretty over here and i'm calm you know i'm calm cool calm and collected but don't fuck with me <laughs> i'm sorry it's just literally i'm channeling the queen of swords right now it's like yeah it's cool calm and mm -mm. cute calm and collected but don't fuck with me okay we got that straight <laughs> look at that two of cups yes yes and yes much healthier space to um attract equalness from what is happening to this deck okay it was me sorry um so that's interesting that's interesting with the seven of cups it's like yeah oh, there is the option thing what i said you know you're going through it i feel like you might have more than one option more than one offer but that's not for all for, for some of you you really do have um you have an offer maybe you have an offer on the table um for a new a new situation or a new opening to an old situation so someone you know may have left your uh, life and you know they went up on their way you went up on your way and then you know like years later you like sort of meet again and this is, this is a new person with this yes old familiar energy but still there's this whole new uh, frequency about them and you're sort of reconnecting because I'm sensing it had to do with something I first ended and then it transformed and then something new was there to offer you might be a little bit like you know on the fence because it's like will this person still be like this will it is it trustworthy is it you know is it real is it long lasting or is it just an in the moment thing so for some of you, definitely there is an opportunity to really like, you know, meet like your high school lover or something, you know, that you maybe have left behind like, yes, 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 and years ago. And then it's like all of a sudden you find yourself having a conversation with that person. So don't be surprised if that takes place, okay? There is an opportunity for that. But I'm sensing that whatever offer is on the table, it's a serious, long-lasting offer. And if it's not what it seems to be, it's a flighty energy then that's not the offer because I'm sensing that something in the near future is like serious. It's serious. It's a serious offer. And, and it could also definitely be, like I said, could be a partnership in work. But that's a serious, long-lasting partnership where things are equal, where things are split 50-50. Who 
where you are being appreciated and celebrated for you instead of you know taking advantage of and then been told that you know it wasn't your work in you know at all and it was theirs and they took all the credits like no i'm not sensing that that way but that could have happened in the past and so you don't want that you want different results and that's why you are not settling for the same old same old it's like you want something new you will get something new you have the ace of pentacles knight of wands and the death card that's definitely passionate and it's 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 real i'm sensing it's real even though you might be a little bit overwhelmed and like i said get close to yourself as possible true actually just getting outside your head space and tuning into the situation when it comes to how you're feeling about things because I'm still sensing the seven of swords. So some level of communication yeah, still needs to happen, still needs to take place. You need to talk about this. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you need to do, what you have to do. I'm just saying like some things in order to have the results that you're wanting, you can't just hold stuff in anymore. You need to let it out. You need to express yourself, express yourself through that communication with that certain person and laying it all out on a table and allow them to do the same and then come to like a healthy medium or it is literally expressing yourself through getting your emotions out through art through music through i don't know whatever you do like some people use gardening or like you know go on a walk every day or just you know scream in a pillow or you know i don't know it's however you get it out Get it out okay because it's it, it really healthy because i'm sensing that keeping that energy in makes you sort of i don't want to say bitter but it makes you feel like out in alignment with the heart chakra and what happens then is that nothing truly really reach you anymore i mean it's nice because some things just don't touch you like you know it normally would but other things also can't reach you anymore and then slowly but surely you just start to live through this tunnel vision of this is just what it is you know eyes is just an ice and and you know the sun is just the sun and it's just just this and just just that and it's nice because like someone you know hurting you it's just hurt you know you could sort of categorize it but down the line it just depletes you of your life source energy and that's what you're getting back and things start to regain it, their meaning that's what i'm hearing it starts to regain its meaning and that's beautiful because the sun and the lovers is here it's like you're making decisions beautiful from a much more healthy place you're overcoming you're facing your fears and you you're going through it you are definitely going through it but you come out as beautiful as the empress and at the strength card you just only regain your resilience and that's so fuck so like really really so powerful so powerful beautiful libra oh yes and you have the seven of wands i'm up for anything is what i'm hearing i'm up for anything knight of cups is here wow I feel so like this energy transformation almost I want to call it that you guys are going through because you're working through your shit you're working through it you're not running away from it you're not acting like it's not there it's like no I'm working through, right through this and I come out of the other side refle refreshed re recuperate is what I'm hearing I'm ready for anything and so it's it's beautiful because like I said your season is uh, you know it's coming up you know, we're only um, Virgo away. <laughs> we have a little bit, you know, we have a couple of weeks of, of Leo and then we have some Virgo and now we already are in Libra season. You want to feel your season. Feel it, Libra. Like, really feel it. You just want to, you just want to feel it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm getting this whole, like, <laughs> vibe from you guys. Oh, oh. Like, some, some person might actually makes you blush hmm, who's that person and also i'm sensing that um you make someone very nervous okay and so 
don't go off the first meeting or the first time you might actually talk because they might actually are so nervous that they come off like really off standish or like weird or whatever or introverted and they you just make them nervous with your presence and this also might be you okay someone could make you feel nervous or a little shy because the butterflies are just like oh you know and you're just you're like why did i say that or why didn't i say yes like i don't know it's like you know have a nose in the conversation i like it it's cute i'm sitting here with a smile i know you can't see my smile but still i don't know if you feel it <laughs> Honor your sensitivity. It's a it's beautiful divine healing. Look, it's the heart chakra. It's the green energy. Retreat to recharge and to heal. Your light can support others. That's so beautiful. That's beautiful. Understand it. If you got born with green eyes, you're meant to live through that heart. Also, when you have brown eyes or any other color on the spectrum, I'm just saying there's something about people with green eyes and yeah i do own a couple of those but i'm just saying <laughs> highly intuitive highly you know uh sensitive and we look through things of the eyes of love so when you see something you feel it so all i'm saying is that to honor your sensitivity, what I was just talking about, not acting like it's not there, but actually going through it, actually speaking your mind, you will be able to look at things if there you would, you know, if it was your first one, if it was your first kiss or your first holiday or your first time laying out in the sun with a nice drink and just, you know, enjoying the moment, taking in that vitamin D, of course, safely with some sunscreen, you know, obviously, no matter what complex you have, you know, it do it safely, but take in the vitamin D, you know, it's very important to recharge and, and heal. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. I think, you know, we did good. We did good. <laughs> Uh, so first of all, we just passed by that new moon in Leo, just, you know, the end of July. That was your 11th house, that's why I'm saying some, some things are connected to your 11th house, if you are Libra rising, obviously. Um, your 5th house will be activated by the ha by 12th of August, because then it's the full moon in Aquarius, your fellow air sign and then by the end of august on the 27th we have a new moon in virgo and virgo is your 12th house so those dates save the dates libra save the dates okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna sign out now because i'm getting all giggly and stuff i don't know what's going on with you guys but i love the energy all right libra i love you thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with me thank you for taking the time to listen to this and I wish you an amazing month of August. And I'll be back soon. All right. Mwah. Bye, guys. Bye, Libra.